What is going on guys, Rewinds here, and in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys my review for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 85, and I know that this is super super late, I normally don't do these, you know, too late from when the chapter launches, but I did still want to talk about the chapter, and I've been pretty busy the last few days or so, that's why this is delayed. But, let's talk about the chapter nonetheless. So, um, I have noticed that the reception for this chapter was pretty mixed compared to a few of the other months. I mean, generally, there's always a crowd that, you know, either loves it or hates it. But, um, this month was, uh, a little bit more different, I feel, from what I saw. Um, I think a lot of people were leaning more towards that they thought the chapter was okay. And they were probably thinking that because this monthly pacing for the arc is kind of starting to get to some people and i feel like this is exactly what happened with the moral arc as well but if you were to go back and read them all you know together i feel as if the story flowed much better that way but especially since this was a fighting chapter it makes sense why some people felt that way that the pacing wasn't too great um, but let's talk about what happened so at the start of the chapter, Gas says that he'll kill Vegeta in one blow, and that's when Vegeta actually ends up hitting him with a punch and thanks Gas for the fuel. Um, at the beginning, you know, there's just some action going on, a lot of action in this chapter, by the way. So Gas uses a new ability where he teleports Vegeta above him and then he kicks him, and then he uses the ability a few more times in a different manner. But I think this is a cool way to use instant transmission or uh, instant teleportation, whatever they call it. Um, but I think it's a cool way of using that technique. So I did like that. Uh, Goku then sees Vegeta in trouble, so he charges in, but Vegeta tells him to stop. Vegeta tells him that his Ultra Ego continues to evolve, but what about Goku's Ultra Instinct? and he tells Goku to figure it out fast. So pretty much in a way, Vegeta is kind of telling Goku to figure out a way to get stronger so he can compete as well because Vegeta is technically in his mind doing fine because his form is making him more powerful as he takes hits. Um, Vegeta then starts landing some hits on gas and as this happens, Goku steps back and starts thinking of his own Ultra Instincts. So Goku puts his hand together and a barrier of energy uh, it seems like was surrounding him at this point as he seems to be meditating or just you know getting super focused. Meanwhile Vegeta is now getting pummeled by Gas as um, Gas is getting frustrated that he can't finish him off. Gas is trying really hard, but Vegeta is just tanking attacks. He's getting hit, but he's not necessarily um, giving up. Gas tells Vegeta that he won't stand again, and Vegeta basically says that he's no longer bound by limits. And right then, Gas braces for a huge blow, like he's super scared, um, kind of like as if Vegeta would finish him off with this attack. Right then, in classic Dragon Ball style, as Vegeta is about to land the blow, Vegeta becomes unconscious and gets knocked out. So, Gas technically didn't defeat Vegeta. Vegeta def defeated himself in a way. He overdid it just like how he did with Granola. So, um, they pretty much used that way to get uh, you know, Vegeta out of the fight again. But I do think it makes sense, so I'm not going to really go out of my way to hate on it. And also, I do want to say that I think that <clears throat> sometimes people get their hopes a little too high with Vegeta for arcs. I know since he's always involved in the fight so heavily, people think that, hey, he might stand a chance, right? And usually he puts in some work, and I'm sure at the end of the arc, he will contribute in some type of way. And that's something Dragon Ball Super does a really good job with, with uh, letting him contribute rather than him consistently being on the sideline because sometimes he is but sometimes he also plays a big role like how he did in the moral arc so i think that vegeta um i didn't get my hopes high of him winning so i'm not really super disappointed this is exactly what i expected 
Uh, Gas goes on and he tries to kill Vegeta with the sword as he's unconscious, but Goku protects him with a barrier. I thought that these panel shots looked really fire. I really, really liked it. Meanwhile, Gas anticipates a Goku to go in a blue or a silver form. Goku says he's figured out his best use of his power and he goes into Ultra Instinct Omen. So Gas was not expecting this. He was expecting Super Saiyan Blue or Mastered Ultra Instincts just based off the hair color. But Goku goes to Ultra Instinct Omen and this makes sense because he says that in Omen he can still use Ultra Instinct's power at a high level but while he does that he can also channel his emotions and this actually gives gas some flashbacks you know some PTSD flashbacks to Bardock I also thought that the following panel was really cool we saw a double blow panel and uh, I thought that was pretty cool as well and Goku now in this fight is getting an upper hand and he ends up landing his classic Kamehameha that's always cool to see as well Goku then says that he's barely stronger than Gas right now and he doesn't have long so that he's going to have to finish this up right now. Um, as Vegeta's looking on, he has a good laugh on the ground. Seeing Ultra Instinct's current fight style, Goku also then goes on to do a mouth blast and I thought that was a really cool shot as well. There was some pretty cool paneling, uh, some cool shots and choreography. I think that going forward um when the anime comes around that a lot of these fights are going to impress people as long as they're animated well but in terms of just how they're um, paneled and choreographed i think that they're not going to disappoint um goku is pretty much about to win the fight now but then alex shows up and he actually get grabs gas by the throat and tells him that he has to do better than his pathetic showing that he's showing right now and that he must be around to achieve their true goal of killing Frieza. Other, and then the other heaters are even thinking that Alec is being too harsh on him. But uh, he kind of just disregards their statements. And uh, as for the true goal of killing Frieza. I'm wondering does this mean maybe Frieza is going to show up in this arc at the end? Maybe is he going to make a cameo? I'm probably going to make another video on that sometime soon too. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then Goku says that he can fight them whenever, but Alec responds with uh, telling Goku to shut up and that there will not be a next time for Gas. Which, you know, a lot of people predicted that Alec might have just sacrificed Gas's lifespan just to get him to this power. And it seems like that might be indeed what he did. And then to end off the chapter, Gas awakens a new form where it seems like he has a skeleton face. I like the look of this new form and um, I'm interested to see how things unfold in next month's chapter. But um, I do understand that since you know these are mostly fighting chapters that sometimes people aren't enjoying them as much, especially if you're a story person. But um, fights are pretty necessary in Dragon Ball, especially to progress the story. And uh, Dragon Ball has a pretty big fan base that loves to see cool fights, so that's always gonna be around. Uh, I do also think that this arc is probably going to go on for a minimum of two more chapters, but realistically I'm thinking three or four more. So probably around that time frame of 88, 89, maybe even 90 if we're pushing it, I think the arc will wrap up. But that's my personal thoughts. Overall this chapter, I'm actually going to give it a 7.5 to maybe an 8 out of 10. I personally really did enjoy it. A lot of great action. Um, I know some people were docking points because Vegeta lost, but again, I didn't get my hopes too high about him winning, so I can't really say that I'm surprised or super disappointed or anything like that. And I really liked how Goku used his UI Omen here, or his, uh, what's the manga name, I believe, UI Sign. So. Um, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the ending with Alec and Gas as well. And um, most of the stuff for what it was in the chapter was pretty solid stuff, pretty good stuff. So can't complain, 7.5 to 8 out of 10 from me. But um, that's going to be it for this review. Let me know what you thought of Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 85 in the comments below. 
Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not? Uh, do you want this arc to end? Do you think it should go on for a couple more chapters? Um, let me know. But that's going to be it for this one. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.